Hello everyone, Farhan Ferdi here, and this is going to be a quick unboxing slash installation video of this thing onto a T7. Now what's this? This is, apart from being a box, a item which is as controversial as the high end modification in my opinion. Half of the people on the internet you will ask, do I need this? Will be like, mm, yes of course, otherwise you're going to die. And the other half of the people is going to be like, what? Mm, no, we don't use it. Or you need to be like really doing some crazy shit to use it, to, to, to take advantage of it. So I'm like, well, I'm doing that crazy stuff. So I don't really know if this is going to be an, a, a good addition to T7 or not. But without further ado, this is a steering dampener from MCS Moto in Australia. And I love it because it's made by like small company. Uh, my parents have a small company building stuff and all that. So I'm really close to it and it's kind of really cool. So I really romanticize Australia. I kind of see a lot of kangaroos hopping around and then a bunch of dudes are, like doing motorcycle parts in a barn somewhere and riding it and well, just such. So without anything else let's unpack it and see uh, what's inside for example in this box is a Christmas candy so okay let's look inside the box um, Whoo! MCS Moto hello Pavel thank you for your support and patience that's the important word it took almost three and a half months uh, not really the fault of MSC well yeah Enjoy your ride, regards MSC crew. See, this is what the small companies are about. Okay. Invoice. An eye-watering amount of money for this. Uh, let's not mention that anymore. Then fitting instructions. Tips for installation. Have a clean and spacious work area. Well, we failed in that, but... Okay, that's useful. And now we're getting to something interesting. Sticker and a candies. Definitely menthols with the most air miles on them. Uh, I think we will need that. Okay, what's this? Uh, that's the... I was kind of doing some research on the internet. I think, if I'm not mistaken, that's the bracket which goes to the steering stem. Uh, what's that? Okay, yeah, that goes to the uh, tank mount over there. So that leaves us with this boy. And that should be the thing. Ooh. Wow. I mean, I love that. That's just... Yeah, this thing has been put together, handmade, made in Australia. So many tiny screws. I hope I must see that I will not need to maintain this. Okay, Rally Moto RM3 Adventure Steering Dampener. Fitting instructions, very simple. There's basically nine points of it, out of which most of it is to remove the tank, remove the seat, remove the side fairing so you can actually get to this area and then we start installing the uh, RM3 now you only need uh, after you after that you only need a 27 spanner to undo the steering stem bolt and then you need to have a fine uh, 5 mil hex the first thing is that this bracket needs to come onto here. That was gonna pivot inside the dampener. So we need to take the bolt out. So we can like that and like that. Now we need to do this. It has these wedges in an angle and they kind of grab onto the uh, frame. So that's how they go. They go like this. Exactly this shouldn't happen. Okay, the bolts needs to be very loose so the thing can actually slide into the place. 
The MSC didn't provide it any torque settings on these, nor that they should have a uh, Loctite on. Uh, I am gonna do, these are M6, I'm gonna go and do um, 12 Newton meters. Now let's do that. By the way, this guy should have a 140 five newton meters on uh, which I didn't have so I guess we need to do this thing I don't know if the washer should be also moved or not it does have the same wiggle though so I'm gonna leave it there then I put the steering block and that's it so we need to set the spring in and then we need to put the pin in. And the question is whether it goes that way or that way. And I think the answer is that way because we need that, okay? Okay, so we need to do one more thing, which we forgot. And now we need a steering dampener. And this pin needs to slot inside there. So what we need to do somehow to wiggle wiggle it in, which is probably gonna be just like this. So I'm going to lock tight the steering dampener onto the mounting block. Here you have it, very simple installation, bunch of screws, steering head stem, and now the steering dampener is inside. Now it's on the lowest setting and you can move it very freely. It feels really smooth though. Uh, and if you put it quite hard, you can see that I will not be able to move the steering almost at all. So I guess that works. Let's ride it.